Guys, welcome. It's Matt from Total Drummer. Really quick video here. We're just going to look at how to attach a bass drum pedal. It is really, really easy. A lot of people ask me, especially sort of beginner drummers, they ask me because they haven't done it before, which is totally fair enough. So we're just going to get straight into it and look at how we attach a bass drum pedal to the bass drum. Okay, so here I have, this is actually a Tama Iron Cobra, a classic old pedal. I've had this for years and years and years and it still works and it's a great pedal but it's also very typical of all pedals so you get a few differences so at the bottom here some of the higher quality ones you get a metal plate at the bottom some of the less high quality ones you might get two tubes either side two metal rods and they squeeze in um, so that you can position them to attach them through holes at this end you know very slight difference there but essentially the same things, you've got your foot plate here, you've got your beta here, and importantly, we'll have this little clamp at the front, um, and this is what we need to attach it to the bass pedal. Now hopefully underneath this clamp, you'll have something like, on this, on this one, you've got a rubber pad, so that's going to just act as something soft underneath your bass drum. A lot of bass drums on the counter hoop that we attach to will actually also have something to protect it there, whether it's a piece of felt, or a metal plate, just something to protect the wood because the wood's quite soft and if you start clamping things like this onto it, it's going to chew into that wood. So they'll often have something on the base to protect it and also you want something here to protect it. So just looking at the basic mechanism here, so you've got that soft foot plate and the, and the counter hoop sits onto that and then over the top you've got this metal clamp that we screw down and that just clamps on, doesn't, make, doesn't go like that but it clamps down onto your counter hoop and keeps it in place. And you're going to have a wing nut here to tighten it, so this one is conveniently placed off-centre, so I can get to it easily. Quite often they'll be placed in underneath the, the foot plate, which is a bit more awkward. It's an easier design for them because it's just a straight piece of metal then with the clamp at this end and the, and the wing nut at that end, but it's harder to get to for you, especially if you need to do it mid-gig and you're like bending down off your drum stool. So this one's slightly off centre, some will come out the edge, some will need a drum key to tighten it. So if you don't have a wing nut, you've just got like a tension rod from a drum, just means you need a drum key to tighten it. Um, this one actually has a drum key handily on it, but it doesn't need it for that. But So you, if you don't have a wing nut, check out uh, maybe you need a drum key, okay? So that's the basic design. So let's take this to the bass drum, um, because what we're essentially going to have to do is put the bass drum in between that clamp. So let's go to the bass drum now. And what we can see on the bass drum is we've got this wooden counter hoop and the clamp goes around that. So the bottom soft part of the bass pedal goes under that counter hoop and that soft part, um, that, sorry, that metal clamp bit over the top goes above the counter hoop. So the counter hoop's going between those two positions and it just slides into position there. And then we do it up, not too tightly, you know, tight enough so it's not going to move, it's not going to go sideways or come away from the bass drum, but you also don't want to crush your counter hoop. So the other thing we have to make sure is that the beta, when we play our bass drum now, it's in position, the beta will strike the bass in the right place. You know, and on this drum I've actually got a patch to protect it, that gives it extra durability, so that helps us see where I want that beta to hit. Um, but you just want it to basically hit in the middle of the drum. If it's not um, if it's not hitting the right place, then you just need to to tighten it. Um, to, to, well, you need to loosen it with a drum key here, raise or lower the beta, the rod of the beta, and retighten it in position so it is hitting the middle of the drum. Once you've done that, you have attached the bass drum pedal, nice and easy, and you're ready to go. All right, guys, I hope that helped you. If you weren't sure how to attach a bass pedal, now you are. There's loads of other videos here just to help you set up. So how to set up your snare drum at the right height and angle, how to set up the hi-hat, and there's a how to tune the drums course, which goes deep into how to tune all of the drums, um, snare, bass, toms, how to get them sounding good as one instrument, so like you really understand the tuning. Also looks into various products you need or that you could buy to help you tune in. Everything you need, links to all of that are under the video. There's also a beginner's drum course, so there's a link to that under the video as well. But for now, Hit subscribe if you enjoyed this video, there's loads more coming and I'll see you on the next lesson.